This is our testing setup that we use to test the latency of earbuds. We will take the gunfire as the starting point. When the microphone picks up the sound, the indicator lights up indicating the ending point of the sound. We are recording this with a high speed camera. Let's take a look at Cyberblade and check out how it performs in real life. Alright, let's go ahead and calculate how much latency there really is. You can see the gunfire here. This is frame 535, the starting point. The frame where the indicator light just came on is frame 585, the ending point. So we take the ending point and deduct the starting point, which equals 50 frames per second. The original footage is 720 frames per second. So we divide 1000 milliseconds by 720 frames, which equals about 1.388 milliseconds per frame. Now we multiply 50 frames per second with 1.388 milliseconds, which equals a latency of about 69 milliseconds. Now let's take a look at Apple AirPods Pro. So let's check out the latency. Here's the gunfire. Frame 2768 is a starting point. The indicator lights up on our ending point, which is frame 2908. This equals a latency of about 194 milliseconds. Next in line are wired earphones. Okay, let's calculate the latency once more. Here's the gunfire. The starting point is frame 5904. The indicator lights up on frame 5939, our ending point. This equals a latency of about 48 milliseconds. Now let's take both earbuds and compare the latency. Because wired earphones basically have zero latency, we can use them as a reference to measure the delay caused by the system. By subtracting the latency value of both earbuds, we can obtain the wireless latency value of each individual earphone. Well, the results are clear. Cyberblade is way ahead of AirPods Pro.